Hey guys, Hop here for TFB TV. We are at NRAM 2022 at the Colt booth, taking a look at a new Rimfire Revolver. Yeah, so this year we are launching the new King Cobra Target uh, 22 long rifle revolver. It's a pretty cool little 10 shot, fully stainless steel revolver. And, um, you know, we're excited to show people. 22 is kind of one of those iconic calibers in the shooting world. You know, when you uh, go to take your NRA class or, or uh, kind of go shoot for the first time with your family or in Boy Scouts, you're probably shooting a 22. And then, uh, you know, later on as you get more experienced, you realize, hey, I can get a 100 round box of 22. Uh, you know, for $17 and I can go shoot uh, uh, all day at the range and, and shoot some really high quality 22 for, for uh, relatively cheap. So, uh, you know, 22 is an important caliber for that reason. So we're really excited to, to bring this out and add it to the snake gun family. Awesome. Uh, what's the cylinder capacity here? It's 10 rounds. Yeah. 10, 10, 10 rounds of 22 right there. And uh, target sight standard on there? Target sights are standard. It's the same target sights that are on the uh, King Cobra Target. So it's actually a user replaceable front sight. It comes with a fiber optic, but there's a couple different options that you can change that to using an Allen uh, key. And then uh, the rear sight is fully windage and elevation adjustable uh, target sight. So the, are the frame dimensions um, and uh, our outside dimensions really in frame design pretty much the same as the 357 version of the Cobra Target? Um, they're, they're similar. The Cobra Target actually sort of has like an elevated uh, front sight because it doesn't have the ventilated rib barrel. So they're, they're kind of similar, uh, but the grips are interchangeable. So it's really the rear part of the frame is entirely the same. Uh, and it, it would use interchangeable grips with either a Cobra or a King Cobra. So um, that's another cool thing because there's kind of a limitless aftermarket grip options already for this, uh, for this frame. What's kind of the, uh, I guess, the thought process behind making the 22 version of the Cobra rather than a 22 version of a, a different revolver? Is this a more historical choice? Uh, to, to some degree. I mean, you know, we Colt traditionally had a D-frame size uh, 22 revolver. It was called the Diamondback back in the day. Um, you know, the thought was really this. You know, we could make a 22 Python, but, you know, it, it, it would be a... a $1,500, $1,600 revolver uh, at that point, you, you know, in that frame size. And it, and it would be a little bit big for people. So I think this is really the right size for people. And I think, um, you know, for practical use, uh, this will serve them a lot better. Um, and it really allowed us to keep the price point down at, at $999. So we kind of didn't cross that $1,000 threshold, you know, because, uh, look, we understand that this is something that uh, a lot of new shooters might enjoy using. And, uh, you know, it's not something that, that people want to go out and spend a ton of money on. Is there a possibility of a 22 Magnum version sometime in the future? It's something, of course, that we may look at. Uh, you know, we, we, we're never going to go into kind of roadmaps or, or anything like that. But, uh, but yeah, we'll see. And are these available yet or are they still on the horizon? These, these are available in shipping to distribution. So, yeah, go ahead and, uh, you know, as with all Colt products, we, we're, we're, we're pretty heavily backlogged on things like the Python, things like the Anaconda, uh, even things like the King Cobra 1911s now. So, um, you know, best thing to do is go to your Colt stocking dealer, you know, go on the website, find out who your Colt stocking dealer is, go to your stocking dealer and make sure that you're kind of on that list so that when they get one of these in, you, you get a crack at it. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned. We've got plenty more stuff coming from NRAM 2022.